Sanbonani, my name is Carol Bauer. It's an honor for me to be in one of my favorite provinces, KZN, where I went to school. And I'm hoping that tonight I'll be able to interface with some of the women I went to school with in order to be able to exchange ideas on what it means to us to be celebrating Women's Month. For me, it's meaningful because it symbolizes a very, very significant moment in our history as women when all mama got together and decided it was enough. They had suffered enough under apartheid. They had tolerated um, those laws for far too long. And it also behooves us to, to really come together as women and say, we are also going to use our voices and whatever might we might have in order to advance messages that assist society with today's um, ills. Whether it is intimate femicide, which has been on the rise, or just gender parity being something that is just, um, you know, uh, a slogan in our community and something that is not lived. There are many things that are ailing the community and I think if we begin to come together as women and not only exchange ideas but ensure that we become guardians of those ideas and move them, together, move them forward together as a collective in order to ensure that laws not only get promulgated but they are enacted in our communities. Um, I'm also excited to be supporting a woman who I think is very passionate about building other women. Um, it's always difficult on Women's Month to decide which projects you're going to say yes to. You get asked to speak at many events. Um, some you say no because you know you're not really appropriate to be speaking there. Someone else may be better for it. And, and then of the ones where you feel that you may be suited, um, it takes a special kind of person to convince you that this is the right one for you. Why would I support Tobe? I think Utobe is passionate about building women. I think Tobe really is a living example of how when we unite as women, magic begins to happen. She influences people very positively, not only through her words, but through her actions. And she's a living example also of when a woman is determined what they can achieve. You know, as a young architect, she transformed her life to being one of the, the greatest examples of black excellence in, in uh, infrastructure development in KwaZulu-Natal. Very proud of her. Very proud of you for sharing this moment with us. I can't wait to meet you all. Happy Women's Month.